the system then decides which bank account you're supposed to be on because most bank accounts they are created based on the income that the individual is making hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kay and i am a money management coach so today i want us to talk about five mistakes that you are doing or making on your bank account and they are costing you a lot of money and some of them you don't even know them that they're mistakes so let's get to it the first one you are not choosing the pricing option of your bank account for yourself what do I mean by that so many banks when you open your bank account they will ask you something like what is your gross income and then they put it on the system the system then decides which bank account you're supposed to be on because most bank accounts they are created based on the income that the individual is making so just because you're making a gross income of 500,000 because they work on an annum 500,000 per annum it does not mean that you need to go to the particular bank that is catered for those people because you might find out that at that particular time the bank fees are high and it's not even going to save you because you are in a situation where the benefits are not going to work for you. So you are allowed to say, you know what, um, can I choose, can I go on a lower one? Which one is the entry level one? And let's be honest, all this in information is there online. So I would also recommend that before you go and open a bank account go to the website of the bank uh, search around for or play around with the website so that you can be able to search around what do they offer in terms of banking um, and which one is their entry level what does it bring which one is their second um, option which options do they have so that when you go there and then automatically the system determines which bank account you're supposed to open you go there with information because i always say this the sales people are there to sell so when you tell them that you want to downgrade they might try to convince you to stay on that particular one maybe because it gives them a lot of commission or it gives them a lot of money even though it's not benefiting you number two a lot of people that don't even know their pricing package they don't know how much they pay monthly they are just surprised every time when they put in money money is going out or money that they've put in or somebody sends the money there's always money that is being deducted and they do know that it's not that debit orders because they are not aware of how much they are currently paying on that bank account and what does that mean it means that if they don't know the package they don't even know how the package works because when you know the package the things that are like bundled package you can also have a pay as you use whereby each and everything you do with your bank account they are charging and you also need to know do they charge at a certain day or do they just take as you use because there are other banks whereby when you're doing pay as you use they are gonna calculate all your pay as you use and on a certain date they're gonna with they're gonna debit that uh, banking fees all together some other banks as you use they're taking the money as you transact that five rand that ten rand yes it looks like it's nothing but imagine if you do about 100 transactions and they're charging you five rand per transaction how much is that at the end of the month just because they're taking it immediately immediately when you are transacting it does not mean that it's not a lot of money that is being taken away from your banking account and that Will determine that okay I'm, i might be on the wrong option because going back to the first one just because the system has automatically put you on a a, a, a banking account that you need to go to based on how much you get paid it necessarily it doesn't mean that it's bad uh, if it's really saving you so you don't go lower and you are disadvantaging yourself because if you're on pay as you use and the way you use your account you use that you, you transact very oftenly pay as you use will end up being expensive for you but if you know that what i do i get paid i don't even have debit orders i get paid i swipe at the shops most of the bank accounts when you swipe at the shops online transaction most of them they are free so you need to know those things so pay as you use might be good for you but if you know that you make a lot of transactions you have debit orders you make a lot of of purchases and you're always using your bank account then 
being in a bundled account might be good for you but you need to determine that depending on how you are going to use your banking account and know which pricing option you are in don't just be surprised that there's a thousand rand going off because even the bundled uh, pricing if you exceed what it's included in the bundle price uh, bundle pricing you end up now going to pay as you use so you need to know how many transaction am i supposed to make before i can be charged as pay as you use and if you don't know your pricing options then it means or your if you don't know your current pricing option then it means that you might not even know when and how you are being charged and that is costing you a lot of money yes it's to rent there to rent there for rent there but all together it amounts to a lot of money so please go and check what pricing option are you in is it serving you if it's not done great if it if it's if it's not and it's in a lower option upgrade the third one it goes hand in hand with the second one you don't know the benefits of your pricing option because you don't know your pricing option and some other people they do know their pricing option but they don't know the benefits so you need to go you can ask at the bank you can also go to the website of the bank okay i have this check account and this check account they give me points when i purchase here they give me um less bank charges if i do those things always know what your bank account is doing for you it's not about you paying the bank every month it's also about you getting something from the bank some other bank accounts they allow you to even go on slow lounge you know they, they, they give you benefits when you're swiping with your petrol with your petrol card when you're swiping at a certain store align your banking with your lifestyle so that it can also benefit you by lifestyle i mean where you shop what you do in, in, in a day-to-day basis so that you know if your bank is working for you or it's working against you because i know getting those 50 rands guys those 100 rand it seems like but k it's just 50 rand i mean if you're paying the bank 200 rand or if you're paying the bank 150 per month and they're giving you 50 rand back it means you only paid 100 rand there's nothing called small money every cent counts if i know there are other banks whereby they will give you benefits like you get a coffee a weekly coffee you get um some some smoothies so with those with those things it means that out of your entertainment money or out of your takeaway money you now have something that you're going to use and you're getting it from the bank and it means now you are saving money on that um starbucks i know yeah most of them the one that i know is starbucks i'm no i'm sure you know which one is it i don't mention the bank's names um yeah so just know which benefits do i get when i buy a flight ticket when i'm buying a bus ticket when i'm paying petrol when i'm buying fitness fitness um things when i'm buying groceries what can i get out of my bank account and you won't know that if you don't know your pricing options and the benefits that is giving you and you are losing out in a lot of money that you could be saving by just not knowing what that pricing option that you're currently in is benefiting you the fourth one it's upgrading unnecessarily you know as i said on the first part your bank account in many banks especially the big four it's um is it big four or big three i mean it's the mm, the red one the blue one the teal one and the green one the big four so in most of the big four big fours um check accounts mostly um when you put in your 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 salary it will then determine which which um, bank account you need to go to so it means that if you are on a lower one and you are getting money that you're supposed to be on a higher one they will continue uh, sending you offers to say upgrade do this do that don't just upgrade because they're saying upgrade <laughs> upgrade because you know that now it's gonna save you what your behavior of how you're using the account is gonna save you even if you know you are earning that money it does not mean that the account is gonna save you so don't upgrade unnecessarily and we do know there are other people that they just upgrade for status they will be paying fees like 500 rand but at the end of the month they don't even have anything left in their bank accounts but that same person they can go and downgrade and then at least save 300 rand or 200 rand 
from the bank fees you understand so don't just upgrade because there's an offer popping up and there's a call that is coming in do you know that you are on a lower pricing you can go if you're on a lower account you can upgrade and they will still tell you the benefits and you will still see that okay i see the benefits but if they're telling you about flight benefits and you normally don't even take flights and three years can pass without you flying then why would you go and be on an option that it's focusing merely on traveling when you are not in a position where you're traveling it means now the benefits are not working for you but they you're just paying for the services that you're not using okay? so please know that part don't just upgrade if it's not necessary the last one the last one is you don't know which date your day your your banking fees are debited in most banks when you open your account automatically it counts 30 days from that day and then it starts debiting each and every month so if you do not know which date that it, it's debiting and it's not on your payday it will always work for your disadvantage most of the time because here you are you get paid on the 25th but your debit your your bank charges they debit on the um let's say on the 19th and by then maybe you don't even have money and because you did not even know you know you did not leave any money for the bank for the banking fees and after that if they don't get the money they start even charging you extra amount you know so you need to know the date and and again if the date is not corresponding with your salary date i will recommend that always make sure that your banking fees they go they go out or they get debited on the day that you get paid and you can change that at the bank on the banking app and yeah however just speak to your bank banking um, advisor and they will assist you in changing the date and make sure that if you're getting paid on the 25th your bank fees are also debited on the 25th your other debit orders are also debited and then you are good to go you know that out, out of this money this is my disposable money i don't need to pay other things but if you're in a situation by you are saying the bank that you're banking with maybe does not allow just make sure that you know exactly when the debit order goes not the debit order i mean the the, the char yeah because it's not really a debit order it's a fee <laughs> you know when the fees are being paid for that particular bank account so that you know that you leave money for that account and this reminds me again of certain accounts whereby you need to know your debit orders because if you miss your debit orders other banks they charge you 150 per debit order so if you're gonna miss three debit orders and it's 150 multiplied by three imagine how much you're going to pay for that debit order so as much as you're gonna remember your banking fees debit date always ensure that even your debit orders you are paying them on time because before the debit order whatever that you're paying it's going to charge you the interest your bank can also charge you for penalties of that debit order not going through and it means you'll be paying double you're paying the penalty from the bank you are also paying interest for that particular debit order that you needed to pay especially if it's debt um because they will charge you interest and again the third one you are also affecting your your credit profile if it's a debt and you, you did not pay it on time so please be mindful when it comes to debit orders if you know that your debit orders debit on the 25th or on the 26th or you know you get paid on the 25th i would rather say try and make it the 26th because there are other debit orders that when the salary comes got 12 they will debit maybe just before or maybe the salary came in at 5 past 12 a.m and then they will try to debit and now it's a whole uh miss thing yeah misalignment day of time to be on the safe side and if you know you have discipline you can make it to debit on the following day if you know that she will still have money because there are people that they get paid at eight o'clock and half past nine they do not have money anymore but if you know that your debit orders they never give you issues you can still keep them on the same date so always know the date of your bank fill so that you don't pay unnecessary charges and then now on your money instead of you saving you find out that there's a one thousand two thousand um yes there are people that pay that amount of money let me add the last one especially if you are thinking of closing an account a lot of people don't understand that a bank fee 
it is an agreement that you have signed to pay and whether you are getting money whether you are using an account whether you're not using an account as long as that account is still active you are liable by agreeing with their bank when you open the bank account that you are going to pay for that fee so if you're going to let that money uh, run out if you're going to let your account should be on a zero and they don't get the bank fees then it's gonna work against you it's gonna work against you in terms of the bank account might close and when it's closing without you closing it properly i've done a video when i where i was sharing do not ghost your bank and i was giving you guys guidelines on how to exit a relationship with a bank in a proper manner so that you don't affect yourself in future and other bank accounts the bank can also take you to you know um collection because that money you are liable to pay for it so don't ghost your bank if you know that you're not going to have money try by all means to put money for your bank fees because you are liable to pay for those fees each and every month whether there's money no money as long as the account is active now imagine you want to buy a house one day you are affected by a bank account you know that you did not pay 50 rent and it's affecting you in future just make sure that it's not you doing a favor for the bank it's what you agreed when you signed the agreement when you're opening the account so hope these five things that i've shared they're going to help you to go and relook at your bank account and help you to save certain amount of money that's one thing that i want you guys to do make sure that whatever that you are doing you get to save something and you are having products from the bank that are gonna save you not want the what the bank wants you to have but what really serves you because you guys are in a relationship it's not about the bank taking money away from you all the time it's also about you benefiting from the product that you have in the bank relationship when in a relationship there's one who's getting and there's one who's giving more and not getting anything it will it turns out to be very toxic and unfair so we don't want that to happen with your bank so thank you so much for tuning in and you know in our community what we do best is sharing the information with other people so don't forget to share this video with your you your friends and anyone on your social media you might be helping somebody to save even if it's 100 rand 200 rand 300 rand as long as they'll be getting money back so thank you i will see you guys on my next upload oh bye